at the end of the day, where is home? Home is definitely where the heart is. <laughs> oh, I mean, wipes over your shoulder. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. She, she's right here. She's is right. that leader? <laughs> home is where leaders. Yeah, she, she's it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in terms of country, where's home? Um, I will always be Singaporean. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proudly Singaporean because I believe, in my opinion, one of the best countries ever. Um, but I think I can be Singaporean, but I also think that it's okay to be Singaporean and enjoy what the world has to offer. You know, be a global traveler. If you have, if you have the ability to, then take it. Go out there, live a little bit, go to another country. You you never, I'll be like a Anthony Bourdain, you know, I mean, like a, do things that you 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 never thought you would do. Go out, uh, go to another country at four, go to a bar at four o'clock in the afternoon or something and talk to someone that you wouldn't talk to, that that kind of thing. You, you never know what life can put up in your way. Uh, and you might, you know, you, you might strike out and say, oh, you get nothing in, in common with the person, or you might actually find out that, He's got something to say, you know, the, the, and and then you you can trade on on these, these these differences and find something that connects the both of you. And the only way to do that, I think, is is to be brave and to take that leap. You know, you 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 have to you, you have to go out there and find other shores, but you need to have that. Um, you need to have the bravery to to get rid of the shore that you're leaving to see the the oncoming shore over there and lose sight of the shore that you've just left. Because if you don't do that, you'll never be able to to embrace new things. I feel like I, I am probably Singaporean. Obviously, Singapore, I will always be a Singaporean citizen. Um, and Singapore will always be my safety net that I would go back to if anything was to happen. But I, I agree on so many levels that just because you're Singaporean doesn't mean that you have to live in Singapore. Um, there is a lot more that the world has to offer. And I always feel like there's two sides of the, the coin, right? You could be Singaporean living in Thailand or Europe and whatever, and you're actually showing other people what Singaporeans are like. So yeah, yeah that's how that's how I see it. But yeah, 100% always going to be Singaporean. I mean, it, it's 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 just a, always going to be that safe place that you can go back to, that your support system is always going to be there waiting for you anytime you need it. So for myself as well, I mean, I'm proudly South African at the end of the day, and I believe you're an ambassador for every country you come, you come from and you live from live in and then that you identify with at the end of the day. I'm very proactive when I talk to people about South Africa and the, 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 the issues they've got and the opportunities and the people and how fantastic things can be. So that I think you take through with whatever country you go into. As myself in a global role, I've been very fortunate to travel all over the world. And that's the message I take to everybody about South Africa, how we are, how gregarious are and friendly we are and things. But I'm also on the other side looking at the world in that I'm enjoying these different cultures, learning about them, understanding them. Since I've been in Singapore, I kind of like, I, I feel more English than I ever have done before. Uh, I like, I do love England, um, but it's like, I, I agree with everyone else. So I, I feel at home in Singapore now as well. I feel like maybe the, like the paperwork constraints may stop me from being here forever unless I get citizenship, but I, I still feel at home here. Uh, but my family is spread across the world, like in France, Barbados, Trinidad, America. And so like, yeah, it's a cliche, but it's it's wherever my family are, pretty much. Okay, perfect. It is quite spread out for you then. Um, great. It, the Hamish, uh, Nicole, Mark and uh, John, thanks. Uh, it's, been, it's been quite an entertaining lunch chat. <laughs> uh, a lot of things to pick up on for the different places that you've lived. Um, but, you know, it's all an adventure, right? So open your mind to it, accept yes. it, take what it comes. If you go to a bar and talk to somebody and they say some interesting things, like give me a wallet, you should also <laughs> take uh, note of that and be cautious. Uh, uh, enjoy life with some caution thrown in as well.